Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to show you the new genius method of growing onions from seed. So if you've had failure before, you will have success this year because you're going to watch this video and learn everything you need to know. So first thing we have to understand is it is middle of February. Anytime in February, even the first week of March, regardless of where you're at for the most part, is fine to start the onion seed. So you still got time to get them ordered. Now, next thing we have to understand is the difference between long day and short day onions. Short day onions are grown over the winter time because they put on all their vegetative growth as the days are getting shorter. And then once the winter solstice hits and the days begin getting longer, then they start to bulb. But long day onions are grown are, are the opposite. They will put all their vegetative growth out as the days are getting longer and then once the summer solstice hits and the days begin getting shorter they will start bulb formation so remember if you're growing onions over the summertime it's gonna be long day onions or if you're in the south it will be intermediate day because short day onions are grown over the winter time only in hot places so and next thing we have to understand is that the onion is a biennial meaning that the first year it will produce its vegetative and bulb growth and then the second year the only focus of its life is to produce seed and so for that reason we want to start onions from seed because the little onion sets are already in their second year of growth for the most part and if you have the sets that's the little onions you'll have some success but mostly you end up with ping pong ball size onions that don't keep over the winter time because they're going into their third year of growth so for that reason we want to start onions from seed guys it's so easy because I developed this new method, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. And this new method makes it so easy, almost foolproof to get the right spacing and most importantly, the right depth. Because if you bury onion seeds too deep, then they will not be able to bulb properly. And you'll have to go around wringing them and moving the soil away, or you'll just have tiny little ping pong ball size onions. So if you want them big, nice, delicious onions, they almost need to look like they're sitting on top of the soil. So that can be real laborious planting it all out year after year but I've developed this new method which I'm gonna show you right now so let's get into it okay my friends take a screenshot of this and see if you are long day or intermediate day next thing we're gonna do is start them in the way I start most of the other seeds and we're gonna do the two tray method and we're just gonna use regular potting soil guys I like the Fox farm stuff but you can use whatever you want just make sure that it's chemical free and that uh, you sift it this is important because if we don't sift it we tend to get big chunks of this kind of bark in there and that is going to uh, provide air pockets that we don't need in this next step and I highly recommend not skipping it is the uh, worm castings guys they've got a plethora of nutrients that the little seedlings will need this is gonna mitigate many issues if you add about 20% uh, uh, by volume or whatever of worm castings and then we're gonna pre moisten the soil a bit not so it's dripping wet but just so it's uh, moist and then we're going to uh, gently put it into the tray now we're gonna fill the tray pretty much all the way to the top because they're gonna be in here for a long time guys and uh, once it's nice and full then we're just gonna give it a gentle pat down then we're gonna take the onion seeds these are yellow of Parma in my example which I love and we're just gonna put about 300 seeds maybe even 500 seeds Onions can grow real close together, no problem. And then after about 10 days or so, you're gonna see this, guys, because we kept it at about 75 degrees because we're using the heat mat. So uh, the soil's about 75 degrees. We keep them nice and moist and they will sprout just like this. Then a few weeks later, we're going to uh, need to trim them because you see here, they've gotten to about eight inches tall and we want to keep them actually to about five inches. And this is very important. So once they get to about eight inches, we're just gonna take a big handful trim them all to about five inches like this or we can use this other method where we just take the tray turn it sideways and uh, you know our best guesstimate of five inches but no matter what we want to use an ounce to the gallon of the fish fertilizer that we've made from this channel uh, and uh, fertilize every time that we cut it so that we're gonna have nice stout thick ones like this and then come April 11th or so, we're going to have a nice thick mat of roots like this. Now, onions have very strong roots, so we're just going to gently pull them apart. We're going to shake them like this so that we can pull apart a big clump. 
and this big clump then we're going to take that and gently separate it using water guys this is very important i put a little bit of compost tea in here and we're just going to gently massage them and they they come apart like spaghetti i mean the the roots of the onion are very strong and so we want to gently pull it apart without shredding them that's important and the water is going to help us do that so uh we want to choose only the biggest ones guys these smaller ones like this okay they they will produce something but we'll just set those aside for now because we want just the biggest fattest thickest ones that we can because they got to get growing immediately so then on the same day, we're going to take and rake back the mulch that has been over this onion patch all winter long. We put down some horse manure and a couple of inches of deciduous leaves in the fall time, and that has been nourishing the life in the soil all winter long and the early spring. But now we don't plant into that, so we're going to take that off and put that into a compost pile. Then here's the magic method, guys. We're going to use some boards. These were scrap lumber that I had from a previous project, so 2x6 or 2x4, it doesn't matter. Just place them evenly spaced and then we're just going to dig a very shallow trench real quick like an inch deep and then we just place each one of these onions into that trench propped up against the board you don't have to worry about how how deep they are nothing we're just going to put them in the trench and then we're going to cover with the compost it's very important you want to use something that's high quality here and light and fluffy and then we're going to water it in real good so here i'm using aerated compost tea that's why i'm using a watering can but you can also use a um, a, a hose and we want to make sure they're watered in good guys this is very important because then about 10 days later they're going to look like this they're going to be nice and established do you see how those are nice and perky those and they are at the perfect level of the soil because the boards keep it nice and cool so here we are several weeks later after about a month to five weeks you want to remove the boards and replace it with grass clippings or something similar so here we're in a mega drought it hasn't rained like at all in their whole life and i don't water them uh, except for the uh, weekly compost tea and you can see here that this grass clippings are keeping everything nice and moist we got about three to four inches of grass clippings on here and even in a drought that is keeping the soil moist which is very important because onions have shallow root systems so we want this mulch on there now here we are several weeks later june 28th and you can see that they're about waist height so the summer solstice has just happened so now they're going to go in full speed to bulb formation so between june 22nd and july 21st give or take they form their entire bulb formation so these are now ready to harvest and we can tell because some of them are falling over all right we, we can tell yeah there's some weeds in there not a problem though we see the nice bulbs now some of them are falling over but over here remember this guys i will show you why this is far too long these most almost all of them have fallen over and that's too long so here we are july 21st and you can see everything is absolutely gorgeous guys look at these bulbs everything is spaced perfectly fine and because we use the board method and we didn't bury them we everything is at the exact height that it should be meaning basically at ground level they've got a little bit of comfort and cushioning from the the uh grass clippings and uh, you can see over here the ones that we use the two by six which gave them more spacing they actually grew bigger so if, if you use a two by six, you'll get bigger onions than the two by four. But either way, guys, you're going to just be getting phenomenal onions. Now, yes, I gave these aerated compost teas and nothing else all season. That is what I gave them. No additional anything, really. Uh, and these things are super pungent, guys. This is the yellow of Parma. I also have some New York early. And... Uh, we're going to go ahead and harvest these now it doesn't matter that they uh, that they are not all falling over uh, mark my words you don't want to wait until they're all soft neck uh, now this one here actually is so vigorous uh, because the soil was so uh, uh, robust and nutrient rich that it started to grow a flower head and so we're harvesting those okay so we you do not have to wait until they fall over just some of them start to fall over but here's the key guys once uh, once you harvest now look at the actual soil underneath this is the magic right here is the soil food web guys no electro culture nonsense no kind of tricks or gimmicks uh, no magic potions just aerated compost tea and some manure and letting the soil food web do its job so here we are on the same day we take them harvest them hang them upside down here i've modified a uh, wire rack like shelving that i used to start seeds earlier now i brought it outside and we hang these upside down and we're going to let these air dry in the shade very important it's in the shade 
for about two to three weeks uh, until they start to turn brown and crispy. The, uh, the leaves will, much like this garlic that we harvested already. This is about two to three weeks uh, 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 old garlic harvest. After several weeks of drying, guys, then we're just going to cut them off about two or three inches. You leave two or three inches of the neck. And here we are, February 22nd, guys, and look at these onions. They are still nice and rock hard and pungent and strong and aromatic and flavorful. They keep all winter long because we harvested them at the right time. And we gave them everything that they need. Now, I want to show you, see one of them is starting to sprout, but that's perfectly fine. I want to show you though, see here, uh, remember the red ones that we waited too long. These are all falling down. Do you see how almost all the necks are falling down? Now, look what happens when that happens, uh, is that they don't store as long. Because see, uh, I, I put the ones that were totally falling down and sort of mushy on that side. And then on the other side, on the back here, I put the ones that were still stout uh, and, and that were still firm. So you don't want to wait too long. It's better to harvest a little bit too early than too late, regardless of what people say about you have to wait till everyone falls over. No, you don't. They store better if you harvest them when they're in their prime, like this one, guys. They love to be. So about July, you're good to go. So there you go, my friends. If you feel like you gained something from the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, share your thoughts and experience in the comments because other people gain knowledge from reading through the comments. So share your trials and errors with the onions. Also, have a look at the Amazon storefront where all the stuff you need for gardening that I use is in my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description. I will see you right here every Saturday at 12 noon Eastern time. We do a live Q&A where you can ask me anything that you want and guys, now is the time to be making your fertilizers. I'll direct you to this playlist right here that's going to show you all different kinds of ways to make your own fertilizers for this season. It is not nearly as complicated as it seems. Just watch the videos.